Hello there, Ospreys. I'm Mike Branny, bringing you a sports news update for Inside Swoop at 90. It's week 13 in the NFL, and we had some good ones this week. Detroit got their first win of the season with Jared Goff throwing a game-winning touchdown to beat the Minnesota Vikings 29-27. The Baltimore Ravens went for a two-point conversion to win the game, but couldn't convert and ultimately lost to the Pittsburgh Steelers 20-19. The Washington football team pulled out a 17-14 win in Vegas against the Raiders, and lastly, your local Jacksonville Jaguars are dominated by the all-star, all-world Los Angeles Rams 37-7. Week 13 ends tonight with a critical AFC East matchup between the New England Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. In college football, Alabama beat the number one team in the nation, the Georgia Bulldogs, 41-24 to win the SEC championship. This was Nick Saban's eighth win against the number one ranked team. Cincinnati won the American Athletic Conference Championship by beating Houston 35-20. Michigan won the Big Ten Championship by beating Iowa 42-3. The final college football playoff rankings were announced Sunday with Alabama moving up to number one, Michigan moves up to number two, Georgia is now at three, and Cincinnati holds on to number four. In baseball, it's not all about the lockout. First one in 25 years, mind you. Some people are getting their name rightfully enshrined in Cooperstown. I'm talking about the Baseball Hall of Fame. Those who got the vote include the great Minnie Minoso, who was the first black Cuban in the major leagues and the first black player in White Sox history. Also first baseman and manager Gil Hodges, who played most of his career with the Brooklyn and LA Dodgers, and Buck O'Neill, who was the first baseman and manager in the Negro American League and the first African American coach in the major leagues. Congrats, gentlemen. Well, that's it for this edition of the Sports News Update for Inside Swoop and 90. I'm Mike Brandy, and I'll catch you down the road.